and here is some of the materials that I am hoping to process. As I said, look, I'm inside my house at the moment. Uh, I have my own workshop and I will show you that in due course. It's just that today is not a nice day outside, so I'm just inside and I'll go through what I have. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but what I do have here, I have, we have, say, PGA chips here. I have, say, the tops and the bottoms. I have roughly 1.1 uh, kilos of them. So what I'll be doing, I'll be separating the tops and the bottoms and I'll be separating these tops here um, because that's where most of the gold is. I think I have some of them split here now at the moment. I'll just show you briefly if I can find them, of course. Um, that's the tops here. There's actually, you can see gold there, but that's actually just um, basically is flash in the gold there's actually not a whole lot in that the gold we're looking for is in that little black cap there okay and here we have about another kilo of connector pins connectors and stuff like that you know like the sockets sorry you know that the cpus sit into so i have a lot of those and i have just a lot of you know little pins low grade pins in general so we're going to process them and here i have <coughs> Pink is about 800 grams of you can see of RAM RAM chips, memory memory chips, small BGAs. You know I have and then there's like a four-sided uh, flat pack IC chips and stuff like that. But I'll um, I'll process these ones all together because it's very similar and all similar the same size. Um, what I have here is I have. RF connector pins, uh, RF connectors, um, I weigh them out, there's like 1.7 kilos there all together, so I'll probably be processing them in the sulfuric stripping cell, it's probably the best way to go about that, because if you're used to go down the acid route, there'll be a lot of acids that you'd need, so it wouldn't be worth recovering it for the amount of acid you'd use, for the amount of gold you'd recover. Um, okay, what I have here, they're kind of there's very low gold content in it they're the cpus but they're the do you know the pinless ones or the ones with the pads do you know what i mean so what i do is i'm not sure what i have here i think it may be one 1.2 1.3 kilos but what i'll do is i will take the heat sinks off them and i can use i think they're a copper heat sink so i can use them for my stock pots uh but i will recover those i will try and recover the gold from these and then refine them and see what kind of uh yield i get from them and then also here i have i think i have four kgs of cpus of just the green fiber cpus i'll just go through them here roughly they all have the your, your gold pins on them um like i said i'll just i'll have to you know take all the heat sinks off them then separate the pins the little pins i have some of them done here already that i processed already so now i have all the pins taken off these already so i'm going to do the same with these but what i might do with these is i might uh because i have about four kg of them i might um go through the different uh say different types of cpus and uh, different ma makes and brands and stuff like that and might just do try to yield the data on the different makes and models i know they're the green fiber there won't be really a high yield look i as i said i'll go through them and see what way they'll go um um yes look i have other little bits and pieces here as like i said i'm just in my house here just have um just a small silver item uh my mlccs and stuff like that um stuff like that as i said this is uh all new to me and I'm learning, I've been collecting um, my e-way stuff for the last maybe nine months now, and I'm learning as I go. So, as I said earlier on, that I'm going to be building my furnaces and everything like that, and my fume, putting my new fume and went into my new workshop, which I'll be showing you videos of that in the next couple of weeks as I'm moving into my new workshop. So I will show you how I get on and how I make these things. Okay, um, thanks for taking the time to watch. As I said, this is my first video. I'm sorry if there's a lot of mistakes and whatnot in it, as it's the first time that I, um, I've actually done a video. So bear with me. Hopefully it'll get better with time. Thanks for watching. A-Day Waste.